Now that we've learned how to create a filament manually in Spoolstock, let's learn how to add a filament using Spoolstock Ready. So I had mentioned you can tap the plus icon and that gives you a couple different options. The new Spoolstock Ready feature allows you to scan a filament's barcode and have that filament add automatically if the filament's already located in our database. Those filaments are added to the database in a couple different ways. The first is through manufacturer partnerships. We're working with several manufacturers to add their entire inventory into our system. The other is with popular shared user data. As you add your filament, if we find multiple matches within the system created by other users, we may choose to upgrade those so that they're available to other users when they scan their filaments. So the more you're using Spoolstock, the more accurate and easy the system becomes. Okay, so let's give it a try. We simply scan a barcode, and here we are, polylite ABS gray. So you can confirm this is indeed the filament that you're attempting to add. You can tap on the image to get a larger view of it, and hit add filament. So it's that easy. We think that this is a huge improvement over the manual entry process, and we think it's gonna be a game changer as people are adding, especially to large filament inventories. And then finally, I wanted to show sort of what would happen if I tapped the barcode icon and that barcode actually didn't exist in the inventory or wasn't available to me yet. So now it says no matching filament found. So would you like to create a new filament with these, this UPC? We'll say yes. And it brings us right back to the filament create screen. The only difference here is the barcode is already filled out for us. So in most cases, I would recommend you probably start with that barcode scan, just so in the end, you're gonna have the most accurate records. So whether we provide you with the filament automatically, which hopefully that list will continue to grow, uh, or you're creating barcodes here, and the more content that we get with those barcodes, the more automatic filament additions we'll be able to add in the future. So that's how you add a new filament with Spoolstock Ready.